So for this example, we'll be looking at a directed graph. So the directed graph is a little more complicated or a little more complex than our undirected graph. So for this graph, we will have edges, but we also will have directions of which way the edge is actually going. So for our directed graph, our rows and columns are labeled in order, ordered uh, vertices. So what we need to do is we need to be able to fill in the table by writing one, if there is one outgoing edge between the row vertex and the column vertex, and zero if no edge exists between them. So let's just pick one as an example, and let's go between A and B. So between A and B, so you can see here there's a, there is an edge, and it's actually going from A to B. So from A to B should give us one. But if we're dealing with from, if someone asks, is there an edge between B and A, we're going to say it's zero because the it isn't going in the outgoing direction. It's not going between B and A. The edge is going between A and B. And that's the basis of our population. So let's run through it. Between A and A, from A to A. Okay, there's no loop, so that's going to be very straightforward. Zero. Between A and B. So we can see here that there is an outgoing edge from A to B, i.e. the edge is pointing in this direction. So that's perfect. That's going to give us a 1. Between A and C, okay, there's nothing. So we can very quickly put in R0. So 0. Between A and D, there is an edge, but it's going from D to A. So the answer for this one will be 0. Between A and E, there's no link between A and E. So we put them in as 0. I'm just going to quickly make one quick change to our graph while we're on the fly. And we're just going to say that between A and D, that is going in this direction, okay. It's okay. And the last edge we're going to do is between A and F. So let's quickly look back on top of our graph. So we have A to F. So A is going from A to F, and the edge is going in that direction. So that's absolutely fine. So we can put in R1. Okay, so we'll keep our iteration going. So is there an edge between A and B? There is an edge between A and B, but it's going from A to B, not from B to A. So the answer for this one is zero. Is there an edge between B and B? Okay, very quickly here we can see there's no loop back on it, so the answer is zero. Between B and C. Now, there is an edge between B and C, but it's going from C to B, not from B to C. So the answer for this one is zero. Is there an edge between B and D? There is, and it's going from B to D. So the answer is one. Is there one between B and E? So there's not, so the answer is zero. And is there one between B and F? So you can see here, there's no direct link between them, so the answer is zero. So we keep going. Let's say between C and A. So no direct link, no edge, zero between C and B. So is there a line between C and B? There is from C to B, and it's an, uh, in an outgoing direction. So the answer to this one is 1. Let's try and make it look a little bit like a 1. Yeah. So between C and C, 0. Between C and D. So where is D? So there is one between C and D, but it's going from D to C, not from C to D. So it's 0. Is there one between C and E? So you can see here, yeah, there is an edge, and it's outgoing from C to E. So we have 1. And then between C and F, no direct link, 0. OK, so between D and A, D and A, OK, we have an edge, and it's outgoing. So it's going from D to A, 1. Okay, this handwriting's getting worse. One. Is there an edge between D and B? There is, but it's going from B to D, not from D to B. So the answer is going to be zero. Is there an edge between D and C? There is, and it's going from D to C. So we have one. 
Is there an edge between D and D? There's D, the answer is zero. Is there one between D and E? There is, but it's going from E to D, not from D to E. So it's zero. And is there one from D to F? There is, but it's going from F to D, not from D to F. So the answer is zero. So that's fine. Now the last edge we're going to look at is between E, let's say E and A. So no direct link, which is zero. Is there one between E and B? E and B, no, the answer is zero. Is there one between E and C? There is, but it's going from C to E, not from E to C, so it's zero. And so let's just double check. So we're going from E to C. Now, hold on now. I've just missed one. So I'm going to erase this very quickly. And we've said, is there a link between E and C? So there actually is. So I've been looking at this edge here from C to E, but there is one between E and C. So the answer for this is 1, for the very reason that we have an edge here going from E to C. So between E and D, there is an edge. So we put in our 1. Try and put in our 1. And between E and E, the answer is 0. And between E and F, the answer will be 0 as well. So for the last line, between A and F, so that from there is one from A to F, but not from F to A. So we're going 0. Between F and B, B is on the other side, no edge, 0. Between F and C, okay, no direct link, 0. Between F and D, there is. Here's F, here's D. It's going outgoing, so that's an answer of 1. Between F and E, no direct link, 0. And then we're going from F to F, so there's no loop back on it, so it's 0. So that is our main point. Now what we're going to do is very quickly just to show that some of the edges that we've actually put in, that they are only one directional. In So we're, you know, it is actually a directed graph. There, can only be a link between between two between two uh, vertices. We're actually going to say that the direction will be from one to the other. So it's not both ways. It's only one way. So if we looked at A and B as our example, it's going from A to B, not from B to A. So you know, the, if we're taking this edge here, we're looking at A to B, and we're going in this direction. So it's from A to B, not from B to A. So just be careful with it, okay? So that's our example of our directed graph.